Hello, beautiful person. Greetings from beautiful, really cold, minus 27 Celsius Winnipeg. <laughs> so, yes, indoors video. My name is Hadassah Vittar. I'm a life coach and a wellness advocate, and I help beautiful people like you reduce their stress. And why does that matter? My mother passed away at the age of 69 from complications of diabetes and she never got to see my kids grow up and uh, it wasn't because she didn't know how to take care of herself because she did but she just had other priorities until it was too late and stress was definitely a huge part of what happened to her and it's been a huge part of what's happened to me because in the past I have given myself an autoimmune disease because I was stressed and because I was in the wrong profession for me so where all my life I've wanted to be uh, an academic until I was. And then I realized I didn't want to be an academic, but I stayed there because of the sunk cost fallacy. And, um, you know, I cannot see any comments, so I hope there will, there, if there are any comments that I will see them. <laughs> but, um, so what happened is that when I was in graduate school, I realized that physics was not my love. I mean, I do love it, like physics. I enjoy it. I can do it. I got some papers published. I was on my way to have a, a career in that. But I made myself ill so that I would have a great excuse to fail in that career. And it would have been so much better if I had just said, this is not for me, and I had gone and done something else then. I mean, there's all sorts of wonderful things in my life that I wouldn't have had if I had done that. But uh, the fact is, I would have been a lot healthier at the time, and maybe I would have, I'm sure I would have grown another wonderful life if I had gone another way at that time. But the thing is that the reason I stuck with it, and the reason that I didn't go and do something else when I knew I was in the wrong thing, is what's called the sunk cost fallacy. So I just want to tell you quickly what that is, in case you're not familiar with it. It's a, it's a term from economics. And sunk cost is something, is like an expense that you've had, a cost that you've had, and you can't get it back, no matter what you do. Uh, there's just no way to get it back. So if you've spent, you know, 10 years of your life <laughs> uh, learning how to do something, or if you've spent lots and lots of money on a certain training or profession or career, there's no way you're getting that time or that money back. They're gone. So rationally, <laughs> and what they call utility theory or something like that, I did do some research on this, but the uh, economics terms might not be exact. Uh, those costs should not have any bearing on your decision on what you're going to do. Like, for instance, if you're one semester away from getting a degree in something you know you don't want to do, the fact that you've spent all this time and money and almost have the degree shouldn't actually be a factor in your decision whether to carry on with it or not. Because if you know that it's not something you want to do, then just go and do something else. But people are not rational, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> and it's really important that people realize that some cost fallacy is just going to make your life miserable. Because if the idea is, well, you're almost there, you might as well finish it. It sounds very appealing and very intuitive. Now, I'm not here to tell anybody to drop out of university or to abandon their career or anything else. But the thing is, is that if you are living under a lot of stress, beyond what we're all living under with the pandemic and restrictions and so on, and not to mention the economic crisis. But if you are living with stress like I did, and make, maybe making yourself ill like I did, uh, because you're doing something that is not your heart, is does not light you up, does not make you wake up each morning anticipating the fun you're going to have today, if you are not in that kind of situation, if you are dragging, if it's hard for you to get up and go and do your thing, then you really want to consider whether you should go and do something else. <laughs> I know, it's like, but I spent, you know, all this time and all this money. That's the sunk cost fallacy. 
That is the idea that throwing good time and good money after bad is a rational thing to do. And guess what? It's not. And you're not going to believe the relief when you finally can admit to yourself, I just don't want to do this. It was really hard for me because it was something that I always thought I wanted. You know, when I was a kid in the 70s, watching my dad having so much fun as a physicist and as a professor, I thought that's what I wanted. But what I didn't understand is what I wanted was the love that he had for what he did and the joy that he had every morning, jumping out of bed, excitedly going to work. He was telling me some stories recently. He's going to be turning 90, God willing, in a few weeks. And he'd get to work, take off his coat, and what can I do today? It was so much fun. And that's what I wanted. And so I did what he did in the hope that I would have what he had. But you know what? It's not actually what I wanted to do. Now, it's brought me other wonderful things, like I wouldn't have met my wonderful husband and had my wonderful children if I hadn't to if I hadn't stuck with it longer than I actually wanted to. And I certainly wouldn't be living where I'm living now. I would have a very, very different life. But the fact is, I want you to really seriously consider whether you are stuck in the sunk cost fallacy. If you love what you do, if you jump out of bed every morning full of joy and excitement and love for what you do and for the people you serve, that is totally awesome. Go ahead and do it. But if it's something that you don't feel that way about, then maybe you need to look at doing something else. And um, that something else might be what I do. I don't know. It might be for you. It might not be for you. It's not for everybody, but it is for me and it made my life so much better and so much happier. So I hope this is helpful because the whole concept of the sunk cost fallacy is, is a really important one that I'll probably be talking more about. Um, and to, in the meantime, to deal with the stress that we're all under, because, yeah, the pand nobody had a pandemic on their 2020, 2021 bingo card, I don't think. Um, then uh, I, I actually made a PDF with a list of 10 excellent stress busters and, uh, no, 13 stress busters, now that I think about it. 13 stress busters. If you want to drop me a message, I'll be happy to send it to you. So you have a great day. Remember, I love you. Drop me a message if you want that list of stress busters. And I'll talk to you again soon. Tomorrow, in fact.